Mm -hmm. I can't tell if that's a neutrophil. It, maybe that has three lobes and then a, there's a little blob, like a little signet ring looking thing there. Or if it's a EO, I'm not sure what, what it is. That's a nucleated red cell, right? Yes. Okay, I got one thing right. And the yellow one is a... I, polychromatic. Oh, so. yeah, because it's kind of a uh, bluish color, right? And it's right. overlapping with another one here. I wondered what right. that was, but it's just sitting on top of each right. other. So we're in a thick portion of the smear Oh, yeah, because right the now. cells are stacked up, kind right. of, huh? I don't know. What is what is that? It looks like something I should know. That's fungus. Fungus? Whoa, it looks a lot different than, is it like histo or something? Because yes. if it's that small, then histo is one of the only things I would think of. Histoplasma. Yeah. So I don't... I don't speciate well, sure, ever right. on anything. I will, however, in the area I live, knowing what is available, when I've talked to clinicians, I will tell them I can't say based on morphology. But my gut reaction is that it's probably histo until proven otherwise, but you need to do all the appropriate testing. Yeah. I mean, you can send blood cultures for fungal sure. cultures, but fungal cultures take two weeks and you can't let a person with like that, cause this is going to be in the marrow. Yeah. It's if it's in, the, in, right. If it's out in the peripheral blood, then surely the it's marrow. In the marrow. Um, yeah. Cause when we see histoplasmosis in Durham path, oftentimes it's a widespread, the patient has either H HIV or some other immune suppressed status or transplant patient. So it's all over the place, right? right? So, so they need to treat appropriately. So that's not something I'll put in my definitive report. It's mm -hmm. just sort of a, you know, when you say you fungal yeast, uh, in, inside yeah, intracellular of... yeast mm -hmm. present. Cool. That's really fascinating.